this robot is the Sphero Mini and it was shipped in a larger cardboard box. So when I opened the cardboard box, I had the box containing the robot and his equipment and then some activity cards for coding with it and a little at home learning starter kit guide. So this Sphero, again, he looks like the typical sphere shaped robot that Sphero manufactures and he's a, a smaller version. So let's see what we get with a Sphero Mini. And again, these guys are, are durable and they're a one piece robot. So there's not a lot of parts to lose in a classroom. You can see as I turn this around, the weight of the sphere rotates even as I'm turning this. So how do I get him out of here? Looks like I squeeze the sides here and there he sits. And there's a little bit of sticky stuff in the bottom of that. That's how he was being held in there. And so there's our little Sphero Mini. And he does have a, a bit of a wrapper on him. So we're gonna peel this wrapper off because it indicates to do so. I'm sure that was just part of holding him in place in the packaging. So there's our Sphero Mini. I'm just gonna set him on that again while we see what else is in the box. So this is pins and cones, ball cover, and USB cable. Okay, so we've got the silicone ball cover. These can be quite neat with Sphero because what you can do if you wanted to use robotics for a little bit of art is you put the silicone cover over top of Sphero and then you can run them through a little bit of temp tempera paint and then have him roll that paint out onto a sheet of poster paper or something like that. And so you code the Sphero to do the painting for you. Then you get a little bit of paint on him and you execute the code and he paints for you. So that might be kind of a fun thing to do. Then we've got some bowling pins. So that's pretty cool. I see right away what we could do with pins and cones in terms of setting up obstacles or trying to make him go and knock the bowling pins down. So that could be really fun to play with that. And then we've got our charging, of course, and it looks like it's a USB micro. It's got the old style USB plug-in. And if we're wanting to charge our Sphero Mini, okay, we will take a look in a moment as to how we get this guy plugged in for the purposes of charging. But we've got the charging cable for him. Additionally in here, we've got some activity cards. So Sphero Play app, that would be if we're using it with a tablet, we will be using these with Chromebooks. We've got these other activity cards that came along with it as well. So I've got two different, different sets of resources I can bring into my classroom. And then I've got a 28 piece construction set in here. So our construction set includes okay so these look like walls or separators that we can use to restrict some of this movement we've got some tunnels so we've got four little tunnels we can set up to for enforce that the sphero needs to go under the tunnels to be considered to be correct and then we've got these little wall holder pieces. So we could build a, a small maze for our Sphero by just sliding those in to the holders. So we can create a maze by putting up walls. Now I do have in my office here at Chinook's Edge, I have some 3D printed parts that would work with pegboard type wood to also create a reconstructable maze so that every student could have a differing maze. So if you're interested in doing that kind of coding work, please um, connect with me and I will happily share those out to you or print off a set of the maze parts for you. So our box is empty. We've got our Sphero Mini, we've got his charging stuff, we've got bowling pins, we've got little mini pylons, we've got the silicone cover, and we've got the ability to make some small mazes for him. To charge the Sphero Mini, we crack him open. 
it comes apart really nice and easily. So here's our inner workings. And now this is not rotating and running away from me. Now I can just click that, click that in. And then I would have to find a charging block, one from an iPad or a smartphone would work. Or if you have a power bar that has a USB port in it, you could certainly charge our Spheros that way as well. So once he's charged, then I would remove that back out, return him to the protective ball, press to click, and he's ready to go again.